From Hollywood, time once again for Money TV. I'm Don Belarjan. Thanks so much for joining us. Money TV is the program all about money and what makes it happen. Well, the media merry-go-round that continues to dog the Trump administration has really become an embarrassment to the nation. I swear Donald Trump could save a child from drowning, and the media would report that he deprived a shark of his lunch. Now, case in point, CNN has been desperately trying to report that the Trump stock market rally is over and that Wall Street Armageddon is coming. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was at 18,259 the day before the election last year. It skyrocketed to just over 21,000 by March 1st, and it looks like it's comfortably settled somewhere around 20,600 or 700. That's a better than 13% gain in less than four months. And on the day of CNN's dire prediction, well, the market was up well over 100 points. The failure by Congress to pass the repeal of the drowning Affordable Care Act was a particularly embarrassing moment in journalism once again, as reporters were tripping over each other to celebrate the news. I, for one, hardly think this fight's over. The health care system in this country is teetering on the edge of disaster. Exchanges are shuttering, premiums are ballooning, and deductibles are going through the roof. It now costs more to pay health insurance premiums in some states than it does to pay the mortgage, and that's simply absurd. Republicans were swept into control of the last election with the repeal of the health care debacle at center stage, and the issue is indeed going to be fought again. Forget what CNN is saying. Then just when you think it couldn't get any nuttier, along comes the issue of so-called sanctuary cities and Attorney General Jeff Sessions threat to cut off federal funding to those cities who don't comply with the federal law dictating that cities and states cooperate with immigration officials over criminal and illegal aliens. How many lawful U.S. citizens have to become victims of crimes by certain bad people who aren't legally here to begin with? A college football prospect was gunned down in his own yard. A young convenience store clerk killed over a pack of cigarettes. A young woman murdered in front of her parents in a popular tourist area of San Francisco. Now, Boston Mayor Marty Walsh vowed that his city would not help the federal government deport illegal immigrants. If people want to live here, they'll live here, Walsh said. They can use my office. They can use any office in this building. Now, the fact that an elected mayor of a U.S. city would put criminal illegal aliens ahead of the safety of the actual citizens he's sworn to protect is absolutely reprehensible. But similar statements are echoed by mayors of Los Angeles, New York, Seattle, and Chicago, and the media celebrated their defiance. There are currently 2.1 million legal or illegal immigrants with criminal convictions living free or behind bars in the U.S., according to the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Secure Communities Office, which estimates that there are more than 1.2 million criminal illegal aliens at large in the U.S. But those statistics, while well, they're ignored by big city mayors, and the media is supporting their leftist agendas. Something needs to be done. Now, here's something that you don't have to worry about ever being done. It's our toll-free number. Good from anywhere in the world. You're watching the television program, 888-259-4449, to get free information about our featured guests. When you do call, be sure and ask to be added to the subscription list of our Money TV newsletter. Again, that is also free. Call us toll-free from anywhere in the world, 888-259-4449. Visit us at MoneyTV.net. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.